Okay. We did a trochanteric bursa injection of this patient today. This is not her first injection, so she knows what to expect. I found the point of maximum tenderness right over that greater trochanter. And we're gonna go perpendicular down with the injection just until you touch the periosteum. I'm gonna clean off the area before we inject. With our beta 9, you can use the tip of the stick to mark your spot, or I used the tip of the needle cap this time. my alcohol open. Use our handy ethyl chloride spray as usual. And catch it with the gauze. I'm just going to spray till her skin blanches. She's going to feel that cold running down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shake it up right before I inject. So I'm using a uh, two inch needle for the procedure so I can get all the way down to her trochanteric bursa. And we have 40 milligrams of Kenalog and four mLs of our local anesthetic. Okay, one, two, three. Always have one hand on the patient. I'm gonna gently advance down. Okay, now I can feel the tip of the needle in the periosteum. I'm gonna come back just a tiny bit Aspirate, it shouldn't see any flash at this location, but just to be safe. And then I'm gonna slowly inject. It should go in nice and smooth. If you're meeting resistance, that means you need to pull back just a tiny bit. You might still be up against um, something bony on the periosteum. And you may be right over that greater trochanter and that bursa, but since we're going at point of maximum tenderness, you might be a little bit uh, inferior or superior. Now I'll come out. And she's not bleeding, but I'm going to put a band-aid over it just to be sure. And we're all done.